now that I've used some of these apps, uh, I've started to send sats, receive sats um, through, you know, podcasting. One example, um, I noticed that I actually enjoy sending sats, which I never oh, thought I would so say. Cool. It's so cool. Like it's, it's, it's so often cool. a super small amount and it's soup. Like if you, if you translate to dollar terms, you look at it and you're like, okay, it's like, we're talking pennies or we're talking like sometimes even fractions of a penny, right? Like, uh, I think it's like, uh, 200 sat or 20 sats to a penny now, something like that. Um, so some of the amounts are super small, but when I do it, I actually feel like I'm, I'm helping the person who created that content more than if I had given them a like on Twitter or a, a retweet or a because it's or true. It's fundamentally true because your like in traditional social networks is, is, is worth nothing. It's cheap. Like a like is cheap. It's yeah. like, 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 but a sat is a unique one of one of, you know, 21 million Bitcoin, a hundred million sats for every Bitcoin. Like it's unique. And that yeah. will never like that sat that's being transferred is inter yeah exactly you can the go interoperable. Use that sat wherever you want I mean I think there's like there's, there's 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 so much beauty to this because like since we launched Zion about five and a half months ago we've processed over one hundred and twenty thousand transactions inside the app between creators and their fans and I think Very without cool. any fees to me that's remarkable that like you're able to do that right like that is so much value being transferred in sats. And it's remarkable to me that like we're a startup, right? We're a pretty small company, but because the fluidity of the network, we were able to move 120,000 trans. I think, I think at the one year mark, we'll hit over a million transactions done through the network, which to me is remarkable, right? When you look at like growth and growth is also really exciting around lightning. I think it's a, it's a fun, fun little metric. Yeah, no, that's very cool. Um, when, when you think about this model scaling, and going from 120,000 transactions to a million, to a billion, and who knows, maybe trillions. Like, as soon, how, how big do you think this could be for, one, for Zion, but two, for, for creators? Like, can creators, do you think, at a mature state, uh, get all of their income through this, like, audience I, funding or, or, you know? I told, I mean, look, the call I had with my partner, JP, yesterday was JP, my mission over the next 18 months is to completely replace the centralized systems that are paying you for your content. And if I achieve that mission, we've done a really good job. And he, he's, he's a very large creator. He gets paid a lot of money for what he does across all of these systems for his videos and all those things. There is a massive opportunity. The question is how long will it take us to get there? But I believe that it's possible because Finally, we have a mechanism that allows for it. In terms of scale and throughput, it's very clear. Like Lightning can tr process almost 40 million transactions per second. It has higher throughput than Visa, any of these other credit card processes. Like it is faster and it's better. It's all about as as a as a collective, as the group that is trying to build on the Lightning Network, the alliance, whatever we want to call us. We have to all work together to build that. Because I think one of the things that some companies I think make a mistake and, and it's, I think it's some people in lightning make a mistake is that they think that people in lightning might be competing against each other. First of all, no one uses lightning globally yet, right? This is such a small market that no one's in competition because no one uses this thing yet. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to work together as a collective collaborate. Let's get enough people on it and then we can fight but there's no need to fight right now. There's no one using it. Like let's all work together, move forward, be partners and then figure out what we're doing. Right? Like, and that, that's the big point that I always like to make with lightning companies. It's like, let's be collaborative. Like let's work together. Cause we want people to use this first and then we can fight, but no need to fight now. Mm -hmm. Cause then I think really it makes, need. it makes a much more compelling case for lightning. If there are use cases where you can say, Hey, look at this creator who just, who just, earned all of their income that they would have otherwise earned from an advertiser on lightning. Of and course. Something I'm seeing on, on the podcasting side is I've, I've been doing this podcast now for, I started in late October. So I guess October, November, December, we're talking like five months um, of podcasting, mostly in the last two or three months. And I've seen the, the numbers start to tick up in, in terms of like sats received to the show. 
not quite at the level of like I, I think in the last month the show received one hundred and twenty dollars, something like that, which is mind blowing compared to the like five dollars it received in the first month. It's an enormous growth, but it, there's still a you know if you say the average salary in in America is what sixty k, five k a month, uh, is still another thirty x growth to get to that 5k a month um for for a podcaster to earn entirely on on lightning um but it's really promising to see how quickly it's growing yeah i kind of now wonder if if this could grow to like totally overtake that and and maybe grow beyond five to 15 or 20 and you now all of a sudden have this like creator class that is that was earning five or 10k a month on ads and sponsorships and stuff like that. And they're now running 40 or 50 K a month. And I, it just like really broadens the possibilities for creators. And I, and I think the, the, the framing is around what are we building for the world? Right. And I think like to know me as an entrepreneur, what I've always tried to do in all the products that I've ever built is to find out like, what is the reason I'm building the tech in the first place? And I would say that most tech entrepreneurs are building products for people to interact with. They're building something to say, hey, I want you to play with my app. I want you to use my app a little bit more. I've always had a completely different approach in how I develop products. Because when I built my first company, the Amplify, the point of the app was I want brands to interact with creators in a more effective way. Not to use my app. The app was the mechanism to do that but for brands to interact with creators in a more effective way. And now with Zion, my mission and the framing that I have when I, because I'm effectively the head of product as well, besides being the CEO and the CFO and all the things, is I'm building an infrastructure that allows creators and fans to interact in a better way, to interact. Right. And that's the cohesion. I'm not, I'm not trying to build a product for people to play with Zion. I don't care about Zion as, as, as the mechanism, I want creators and fans to engage in a more cohesive way. That is my mission. And that's what I think about and everything that I build is product. I think that's the differentiator of how I think about product and more effectively lightning is the mechanism that allows a fan and a creator to interact in a more cohesive way. If I wanted to be the intermediary, I build another PayPal. I build my own blockchain. I build my own token. I do all these things to be the intermediary but I've removed myself as that I've chosen an open source monetary network that allows a fan and a creator to monetize in a better way. So I think that the mechanisms of why we did what we did is very strategic, but that's why we think about product differently. Anyone that's building their own blockchain or their own token is wanting you to interact with their product. That is their mission. They're not trying to help you interact better with your fans. That's the difference. That's the Zion right. difference. 